Revelation chapter 20 shows us Satan is bound for a thousand years and Jesus rules earth for 1,000 years and the saints rule with him. Verses 1 through 3. And I saw an angel come down from heaven having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil, and Satan, and bound him a thousand years, and cast him into the bottomless pit, and shut him up, and set a seal upon him, that he should deceive the nations no more, till the thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that, he must be loosed a little season. Jesus will rule earth from the capital city of Jerusalem, and for one thousand years there shall be peace on earth. Thrones and judgment was given to the saints. Jesus is the King Supreme, and we will rule and reign with him. Verse 4, And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. All saints that died in Christ and those who were raptured will be a part of the first resurrection and will rule with Christ for one thousand years. The second death, which is the lake of fire judgment, will come after the one thousand year reign of Christ. Verses 5 and 6. But the rest of the dead lived not again until the thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection. On such the second death hath no power, but they shall be priests of God and of Christ, and shall reign with him a thousand years. At the end of the thousand years, Satan will be loose from the bottomless pit, and he will go out to deceive the nations and turn them against Christ Jesus. When Jesus comes in the clouds to set up his kingdom, there will be some people and children that did not take the mark of the beast, but also have not received Jesus as Lord and Savior. They will not be slain at Jesus' second coming. They will be allowed to live with Jesus and the saints for 1,000 years. At the end of the 1,000 years, Satan will be loose, and he will tempt a multitude of them to, once again, go to Jerusalem and try to overthrow King Jesus. When they have surrounded the camp of the saints at Jerusalem, God will cause fire to come down from heaven and destroy them all. Satan will then be cast in the lake of fire where the beast and false prophet are. Verses 7 through 10. And when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison and shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle, the number of whom is as the sand of the sea. And they went up on the breadth of the earth, and compassed the camp of the saints about, and the beloved city. And fire came down from God out of heaven, and devoured them. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are, and shall be tormented day and night for ever and ever. The Final Judgment At the end of the 1,000-year reign of Christ on earth, the great white throne judgment will take place. All the dead and people in hell will arise for the final judgment. All people will come before the throne of Jesus, and he will separate the sheep from the goats. Death and hell will be cast into the lake of fire, and everyone whose name was not written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. The lake of fire is the second death. Verses 11 to 15. And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were opened. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books, according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged every man according to their works. And death 
and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire.